from a very windy Long Beach, California. I'm busy walking on what's called the Rainbow Bridge because at night it lights up very nicely. Heading to the Pike, a shopping mall, to explore the city a little bit. I was here in California for the 2022 ILGA World Conference, a gathering of LGBTIQ plus activists and organizations from all around the world. And now the conference is over and I get to see the sights a little bit now that my work is done. From what I've seen of Long Beach so far, it's very constructed. There's a lot of shops, there's, well, a Long Beach, and there's some more shops. I was surprised uh, to find that many of the places close fairly early in the evening by the standards you'd expect of California and Los Angeles. This is not technically Los Angeles, it's a different city, but you know, they're very conjoined. But outside of a superficial level, I actually haven't had the opportunity to get to know the place. So let's get to know the place. So the uh, seagulls tried to kill my drone. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, seagulls try to kill my drone. Maybe I got a few seconds worth of good footage, I don't know. But I decided I would take this moment to just sit a little bit. I've been walking for hours now. America is very big, very big, lots of walking, 
especially if you don't have a car, so no driving. Although Long Beach does have a metro uh, connected to the LA metro, people seem to think that there's no public transport in LA, but I mean, that's not true. It's just not very good. A colleague of mine took the metro train from Long Beach to downtown uh, LA just for a day to see the sights and he has advised me strongly to avoid it. He was trapped in a train with people pooping all over the place, he says. So, no metro for me if I can help it. On that note, maybe I should close off this video with some thoughts of Long Beach. I've been here now a little over a week. Tomorrow I head out. And I, I kind of like it. It's, it's nice. There's a lot of green space, lots of shopping, really beautiful waterfront. Yeah, it's very nice. It feels like I'm in the Truman Show. You know, where Jim Carrey is living in this picturesque, idyllic American town on the beachfront. But everything's fake. There's a facade of everything. Like a, a film studio. It all feels very artificial. And I will see if that is something that is uh, unique to Long Beach, or if it's more of an American thing. I've been told that a lot of places in America just feel very constructed, very artificial. There's also, I think, not so much to do here after you've been here for a few days. There's an aquarium, but it's not as big as I would have imagined. Actually, it was a very nice aquarium. There's a lot of shopping. There's a small museum of art. That's about it, as far as I can tell. It's very hip and artsy. The whole place smells like marijuana because everyone's just so chill. And that's the sort of thing that I think you can either love or you can hate. Um, but I've been here a week and apart from just sort of pretty clean city kind of vibes, it, it just, I don't know what's here. I don't know what it, I don't know what the place is about. So. I am looking forward to heading out, seeing a new area, recording my next face to camera somewhere where there are fewer screaming children in the background. Long Beach, to summarize. It's fun if you happen to be here. Don't go out of your way for it though. Goodbye, Long Beach.
Wait. Wait. <laughs> Just made a train stop for me. <laughs> 